Good day and welcome back to another DB Legends video. In this video we are going to be taking a look at the Ultra Kid Buu that has come to DB Legends and whether you should summon for Ultra Kid Buu and just how good he looks like he's going to be. So the Ultra Banner has the standard format, three steps of a thousand Chrono Crystals and then one free summon with the second step having double rates. Now Kid Buu is a pretty interesting unit, uh, he looks really solid, really really good, uh, obviously has his ultra ability which all ultra units have, so if he's the lead he gains a buff, or if he has certain units on his team he gains a buff, then he has a special move which is pretty solid and his ultimate skill. So his ultimate skill will apply the following effects upon activation, plus 20% to ultimate damage, nullification of restore health when it reaches zero. A portion of the damage will also be dealt to the enemies on standby. This can allow cause them to faint or be defeated, and you'll seal all enemies' main abilities for five timer counts. His special move deals massive explode damage, applies the following effects to self, restoring his key and his vanishing gauge by 100%, and he destroys all enemies' cards on hit. He inflicts all enemies with no switching for three timer counts. He then has his main ability. Which draws his ultimate card, next Universal Destruction restores his health by 25% and key by 40, inflicts the enemy with 3 various attribute downgrades, 40% health restoration, 20, 30% damage received, and minus 1 to arts card draw speed. His special skill which is Evil Shout will apply the following effects to himself, restore his key, plus 20% to strike damage inflicted for 15 time accounts, Changes Blast Arts cards into Strike Arts cards and applies buff effect Nullify enemy special actions that activate when changing cover for 10 timer counts. He's a regeneration and powerful opponent lead, which means you kind of know where this is heading, but he's a big boon for Goku Black and future units. He has plus 110% to damage inflicted, which cannot be cancelled, reduces damage received by 60%, kind of stock standard for big units nowadays. Increases Arts card draw speed by one level, applies the attribute downgrade minus 20% to enemy sustained damage to UT effects, restores his own health by 30% when it reaches zero, and has plus 15% to health restoration for 16 time accounts. He has nullification of attribute downgrades in abnormal conditions for 60 time accounts. He also charges his own unique gauge over uh, time whilst on standby and on the battlefield. So not through cards or anything, it's just a time based mechanism. And when his unique gauge triggers, he'll restore health and have a damage increase. He also has a cover change where he'll knock back the enemy to long range if a cover strike is performed against a strike arts card. He also applies the following effects to self every time an arts card is drawn while he's on the field, restoration of health and key. And he applies the following effects to self every time that he uses a strike or blast arts card, plus 10% to special move damage, plus 10% to ultimate damage, and plus 10% to key recovery. The following effects will occur when the enemy activates the Rising Rush, he will refill his Vanishing Gauge, cancel their attribute buffs, and also he will gain additional buffs if the other two enemies are, or allies are defeated. His banner is very bad. So he has Legends Limited Kid Buu, who gains a little bit of a revival being able to be run with this Kid Buu, uh, but this Kid Buu is not Blast. So doesn't really kind of gel too well together he's a defense type but it is all right uh, the rest not great this banner is solely for Kid Buu you're literally going entirely in on the premise of getting Kid Buu uh, none of the other Legends Limited are too incredible I think Piccolo's is not bad uh, SS3 Green Goku is also not distinctly terrible but yeah in general I would say you're going in very hard for mainly Kid Buu. Now animations wise he looks pretty good. Uh, I think he looks decent when it comes to animations. I don't think they're anything too crazy. I think personally you can always go a little bit wackier with Kid Buu considering how many crazy things he actually did as a unit. I don't find that their abilities they went for were distinctly incredible if that makes sense. So just to mention on his gauge, you can see it there, uh, for every card we use we don't get an increase in it, it's purely time based. 
So there's no real need to kind of prioritize it. The gauge itself is not crazy. Uh, I wouldn't say it's the wildest gauge ability. Um, you know, just considering you, know, it's like you know, Goji the Blue and things like that. Yeah, I wouldn't say this is the wildest gauge ability that we've ever had. Personally speaking, you know, it's pretty straightforward. It's just kind of like a damage increase and a heal. But yeah, I think overall Kibu does look really good. I think there's some excellent parts of his kit. And yeah, I think he will be really good on the right team. Uh, as most Ultras have been nowadays. He doesn't feel as unique as, say for example, Hit kind of felt. Uh, or maybe, you know, Goji the Blue kind of felt. Uh, I think, you know, he doesn't really feel as like unique i want to say but still pretty good stuff uh but yeah that's basically it uh now covering obviously his capabilities uh you know as you can imagine it's pretty straightforward but his regeneration and powerful opponent does cover a pretty good spectrum of units uh obviously being mainly some big time players like the goku blacks and super saiyan rosés uh, which is obviously the big winners here. Uh, you can continue to kind of just build into that bunker down Ultra Rosé build. And it's, yeah, it's pretty menacing right now. So, yeah, that's definitely there. But that's it from me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you next time. Bye.